GenSpark vs. Magnus AI Honest Review. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're diving into two of the hottest AI agents on the block, GenSpark and Magnus. We're cutting through the hype to give you a honest head-to-head -head comparison. So which one should you be using? Let's break it down. Now a quick refresher, AI super agents are autonomous AI agents that can research, build, automate, and even make quick apps for you with minimal prompts. Think of these as full-blown digital teammates, not just chatbots. These agents are transforming how we work today. We compare the two most popular, Magnus and GenSpark. So let's get started. Now we're going to get started with Magnus AI. Magnus AI was built by a Chinese startup called Monica and it breaks down complex tasks and prompts into research, data analysis, code execution, browser automation, and deployment. It's powerful, especially for data heavy workflows. You can see this is what your Magnus dashboard is going to look like once you sign up. And this is their basic prompt inbox. You have the ability to go with adaptive mode, agent mode, as well as chat mode. And below that, you will, you will even see some community content that is voluntarily shared by users, some popular things that people are using Magnus AI for. Now, moving on into GenSpark AI. Now, GenSpark, on the other hand, is a mixture of agents. The approach is a bit different because it has multiple specialized LLMs working together by a overseer orchestrator. It's built for autonomy, speed, juggling multitasks with less user input. So GenSpark reports a simplified, come-focused interface and it has a really clean intuitive interface. To get started with GenSpark, all you have to do is click on sign up. It's free. It's completely free to sign up. You don't need any credit card information or anything like that. And you can sign up with Google, your email, Microsoft, or Apple. Just proceed with the sign up over here and I'm just going to log on like so. And I'm just proceeding with Google for a quick and easy sign up. And just like so, we have signed up for GenSpark AI. Now, on the other hand, we have Magnus AI, and Magnus AI is slightly different. It has a pretty intuitive and simple to use, uh, you know, build. However, it is a bit more step heavy and requires more prompting to clarify the type of task to make it more seamless. So if I was to use GenSpark, let's say I want to build a AI slide, okay? I'm going to select AI slide over here. After that, this is directly going to leave it in AI slides mode. So whatever I'm looking to create, I can even go into all agents and then it will have GenSpark all agents and I can proceed with the task here. However, when I'm using Magnus AI, I will select slides from here and then I have some pre-built themes if I want to select one of those. I can choose the number of pages and then I want to create a presentation on fashion and that's all I'm going to put in as the prompt. Then if I do pretty much the same thing with GenSpark's AI agent, I'm going to ask it to create a slide on fashion. Once I do that, I'm not going to specify anything other than the queries that it asks me. So this is what both of the platforms are doing right now. You guys can see that Magnus AI shows you a, a preview of what it is doing, all the image searches, the web searches that it's doing. And GenSpark again only shows you this thinking section and it is able to show you a preview. And you guys can see that GenSpark is slightly faster than Magnus AI as well. So we're going to wait for both of these to complete their queries and to be able to create our slides so we can actually compare them and see what themes have been applied what type of general ideas they have taken. And you guys can see it has a preview version as well as a code version for all of the slides. And when it comes to using Magnus, you guys can see a step-by-step -step command execution. And the best part about using Magnus AI, which is not as efficient in GenSpark, is that when you're using Magnus AI and let's say I see it researching a certain file and I don't want to take the input from that file, I can send a message to Magnus as it is processing and it is able to amend my request accordingly to the new message. It doesn't start over. Instead, it just takes into account what I've recently just told it to do. So this is something that is really nice. Now, this is our first slide that GenSpark has created, fashion presentation, the key fashion themes, including 2025 trends, sustainability, history, and more. And we're just going to leave it at the preview section. And right now it has also created a basic outline for us. 
regarding fashion and you guys will see that when it comes to speed and autonomy genspark often completes its tasks within minutes and it can multitask it's like building a site and running a calculator tool simultaneously by contrast magnus although is an amazing tool it is more methodological so it is slightly slower it is iteration heavy it is going to follow along with each individual step so that does make magnus ai slightly slower than genspark when it comes to just overall execution in general, both have pretty amazing times, but you're going to find that Genspark is able to complete a task in slightly lesser time as compared to Magnus. And when it comes to features, Genspark has outbound phone calls, video creation, 3D game building, SEO tools, dashboards. However, Magnus is more so for data sets, in-depth research, code execution, multimodal integration, file systems, hugging face, web tools. Magnus does these things better. So Genspark is going to be the better tool when it comes to visual and visual content. However, with data heavy content with detail, it does work better with Magnus. Now, this, these are the slides that Magnus has created. So this is our first slide. And then this is our second slide. It has taken fashion trends for the summer, fashion trends for fall, fashion industry overview, as well as the sustainable fashion impact and a conclusion slide. Then if I was to compare this to what has been created using Genspark. So this is what Genspark has created. It is actually still creating. Okay, so it has finished the basic draft like so, and it is just completing the eighth slide, which is now almost complete. So once it has created these, this is our first slide, fashion presentation. It has created a table of contents, fashion trends, sustainability, fashion history, color trends, street style, luxury brands, as well as fashion technology and the future. So you guys can see, although my basic prompt for both of them was the same, the content that both of them have delivered is slightly different although it is still pretty accurate and it is on the nail on both of these so it does hit it on the nail it's very accurate to what i asked it to create and it's something that i can use to simplify to make my own presentations more simplified and easier to build now should you be using one over the other is pricing different well when it comes to genspark it does have a free plan and they do not have a published pricing system as of yet however they do have the ability to upgrade the plan if you sign up once you do sign up you will see their published plan you cannot actually find pricing sometimes on their dashboard but if you choose to upgrade your plan it starts at $24.99 which gives you access to 10,000 credits a month now comparing this to Magnus Magnus again has their own credit system so when you go ahead and take a look at Magnus AI you can see you get a thousand credits upon signing up and you get 300 free credits every month so you are going to get 300 credits every day and then with their basic plan you get 1900 credits per month and then 1900 extra credits per month then in the plus version you get 3900 credits and 300 credit refreshes with 3900 extra credits as well when it comes to the crediting system i do find that genspark is a cheaper alternative to magnus so which one is better well when it comes to autonomy and ease of use genspark is better but when it comes to flexibility and more data and um, data-based visuals and data-based research data-based topics then i do think that manis ai is better now which one should you be using well i do think that both of them are amazing but if you're prioritizing deep analysis then you should use manis however if you are using your ai tool for visuals as well as a simple and efficient and simplified everyday tool then genspark is the better tool for you so i hope you guys found this video helpful and hit the like button if you learned something and comment down below what you are going to be using these platforms for and which one are you going to be using genspark or magnus and subscribe for more ai breakdowns thanks for watching and see you next time